So finally, finally after, I don't know, almost two months of trying, trying like two or three times a week too, like, you know, not fucking around, like seriously trying, using every different type of pipe, you know, every type of vape, well not every type, but you know, vape, pipe, bong, you know, um, oil burner, um, fucking, you know, basically every contraption you can think of that you read on the forums about, you know, the best way to um, smoke DMT, right, to have like a breakthrough, right, couldn't do it. And my problem was, is, uh, you know, and I tried, like, you know, they tried the, uh, the Yokan, right? That was the first thing I tried, because that's what I figured. Guy that recommended it, you know, saying, you know, he had good luck with it. You know, figured I'd do that. I tried the sandwich technique, which actually was probably the closest I came to breaking through until recently. Um, uh, I didn't realize it, but the pipe that I have is, like, it's like a small little glass pipe. And so um, it was, like, to the amount, I couldn't really, like, stuff enough in there, basically. Basically, like, by the time I needed, like, one more hit, it was pretty much gone. Now, you know, I could have fucked that up, but whatever. So, like, that, but that was close. So, that, that method was pretty close for me. Um, I tried the crack pipe. The crack pipe wasn't bad. Uh, except it's, uh, I don't know, I, I don't normally smoke crack. So, it was, like, it was hard for me to, like, I don't know, to, like, it, it makes sense in theory, but it just didn't work that well for me. Like, uh, didn't, the shit didn't stay in place and moved around, even though I had, like, balls of fucking, uh, um, screens in there and uh, yeah anyway long story short what ended up did work it for me and I had to go back to it a second time because the first time I tried it I gave up on it uh, and then I went back a second time and here's what happened is the oil burner the oil burner fucking worked the oil burner is a street name or a slang name for a meth pipe right it's basically a it's a bubble pipe right it's a stem and then has a bubble at the end it's your, it's your go-to meth pipe basically and if you look at like the forms and stuff, like it's basically a DMT pipe too. It's basically used to vaporize pretty much anything, but it's most commonly for meth. And, um, you know, well, you know, I've had a little experience, you know, with that. And so it was like, you know, I'm going to stick with a pipe that I know how to use, right? Because like, like, oh, I tried a dab rig too. That was cool, but it's like, I, I, I don't have the coordination. That was always the problem was that as soon as like, you know, you start to get a good hit, it's like, it's hard to get another one. Not because you, uh, you know, not because the pipe's faulty, but because if you have to light it, and especially if it takes any sort of coordination, like it, once you're fucking lit, like once you're on your fucking way, it's hard. Like I had a hard time, like you know, like but trying to light the fucking crack pipe with the torch and shit when I'm already like you know halfway fucking cross-eyed and shit. I, your depth perception is all fucked up, and you have a torch, right? We're not talking like a big lighter, like what, you know, we're gonna give yourself a little blister. You fucking catch yourself on fire, like Richard Pryor style with the fucking torch. So I, I couldn't do it. It was like, yeah, so anyway, the oil burner, I got frustrated, right? Went back to the oil burner because I'm running out of DMT, so I'm like, okay, I probably you know only have, you know, a handful of times left to do this. So I went back to the oil burner just because I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I'm done reading the forums, I'm done taking advice from people, I'm just gonna fucking use the oil burner. Because I know how to use that, right? And uh, sure shit, instead of like listening to everybody and all these fucking, you know, DMT gurus on Reddit and stuff, you know, um, I was just fucking pretending that it was meth. <laughs> just like, did it, you know, well, first yeah, I held it down, you know, kind of twirled it a little bit, waited until it started to vaporize a little bit, you know, kept the flame about like, yay, that much away, you know, and just, to, yeah, I was real patient with it though. Unlike, uh, what's that guy, Marvin and uh, uh, the Chappelle show, like the crackhead, mm -hmm. You know, that's how it was before, but now it's like, you know, I'm just frustrated. I'm just like, you know what? Fuck, it. I'm just going to do it this way. This is the way it looks like I, we do it, and so I did. And I wasn't I wasn't expecting this to happen either, and this is the weird thing. I was kind of like, just like, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, see if this actually works, you know. Fucking, you know, I just, just pretended that it was meth, and the only difference is really is that it's more, it's it burns faster. So you got to pretend it's meth with a very thin pipe. <laughs> You know, and uh, the pipe that I had was standard thickness. So just, you know, I just had to be a little careful and a little quicker about it. And uh, sure as shit, I, you know, sort of the vapor started to form in the bubble, you know. So I waited, I waited, was patient. Waited until like, you know, the vapor started coming out of the hole in the top and it was thick, you know, but not still not burning it, still keeping it away, kind of like, you know, rolling it and pulling it back. And I just, you know, fucking pulled all that smoke in, kept the lighter there. And I just had, had slowly though, I didn't like all at once, it was like, but just, and tell you what, like within a, within a matter of seconds, you know, I was, you know, still inhaling when all of a sudden, yeah, I felt myself like, like I got, I heard this high pitched noise go, and like from the back of my head into the front. So I'm like, oh, this is going to be a good one, right? 
you know, I held it in for like a few seconds, but I didn't hold it. I didn't hold it in like fucking forever. And that could have been my mistake before. I just held it in for like maybe, I don't know, four or five seconds. And, phew, and then I lit it again, right? And now my eyes are open and shit is just like, going, like everything is like deconstructed. All these bricks and shit. And like, <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, I got, I got to do this one more time, one more time. Right. And I did. Right. And now. I can't really see what I'm doing. I'm kind of going like, I'm using a Bic lighter too. I'm not using, fuck those torches. I'm not using a torch. I'm using a Bic lighter, right? <laughs> and then fuck, you know, I got it, right? I got it. And, you know, I was able to get like maybe half a hit in. And this is what took me by surprise, right? I was only going to take one more hit and like hold it as long as I can and then sit down. I didn't even get the second hit, half a hit. Half a hit in, all of a sudden something for the first time happened, right? I fucking went into like hyperspace. Like all of a sudden, it felt like I got abducted by aliens. Like I've never been abducted by aliens, but I assume that's what it would be like. All of a sudden, I like, boom, and like my body, like I feel like I got electrocuted by lightning. And like my whole body tensed stuff like that. And I, I barely had time to put the pipe down. And I was trying to sit down in my chair, like, oh fuck, you know, and I kind of like tossed the pipe, like kind of like a gimp, like, eh, you know, poof, you know, ding, 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 across the desk. Sat down real quick or kind of fell down there. And, um, uh, but, <laughs> Then all of a sudden, I was like, and I, my body was tense. Like, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bullshit you. I mean, you know, I wish I could say like, you know, I handled that like a champ. I kind of handled that like a pussy. I was like, I don't know what happened. I like, I wasn't sure if I like fainted. I was like, and like my whole body was like tense like this, and I was in the chair, and I was kind of resisting it, right? Because I, I didn't know, what, I'd never been like yanked that violently. It felt like again, I've been abducted by aliens. Everybody has these like stories about how it's all like all loving and you know aliens come and like hold your hand you have some tea and you like skip through the galaxy and like show you the mysteries of the universe not me man i was like fucking goddamn near anal probe i was like burr, burr, yanked out of my fucking skin and it scared the shit out of me right but i and i was there and like the first thing that happened after i noticed that immediately i didn't know where i was it was the weirdest thing i didn't know if i was like up or down i was like i, I lost my sense i don't know if i was upside down or if i was sideways i don't know if i was still in my house I didn't know where I was, and then I was like, uh, you know, oh, and that, by the second hit, I didn't even, like, I, I inhaled maybe half of that, and I didn't even hold it in. I fucking, as soon as I got hit by electricity, I fucking spit it out. It was like a reflex. It's like a, Pleh! but I was already gone at that point, and, uh, yeah, I fucking, so I, like, when I, like, realized that I didn't know where I was, or I didn't know if I was upside down, all of a sudden, I was, like, saw it's in, like, this, like, purplish room, right, and it had, like, it was made of, like, these weird squares. They're, like, black outline squares. You remember like um, Star Trek, the next generation, like their holodeck? It was kind of like the holodeck. That's kind of what it reminded me of. <clears throat> but I wasn't alone either, though. But I didn't see my goblin friend. I only saw that guy once. He just like fucking, he hightailed it. It must have fucking gave him a bad impression. Maybe I didn't shower that day. I don't know. But no, I, I there was two or three other people in that room. And I'm saying people, let's put in quotations. I couldn't see any faces, but I could see bodies standing that were alive. They were like, kind of like, had some sort of movement to them. I was just looking around. I don't know what the fuck was going on. I'm still trying to figure out where I was. And all of a sudden, and then I snapped again. And it was like, I could still feel my body was tense. I think I like tried to, uh, the whole time I'm trying to like pull out of it, right? Like, so I was scared. Hold on, let's fucking go by. So, next thing I know, I'm basically above this room but I'm like going out outside of it. It's kind of hard to explain because I don't really have a real good um, comparison to comparison to, but I was leaving where I was at. And then all of a sudden I'm like looking and I'm like in like what I think are like clouds, right? Up in clouds. Like, I don't know. I'm not saying I'm like Superman flying, but I was above something and I was looking down. I was like peering through clouds. There was like a city, right? In the city, but it wasn't, it was a city, but it was like, it wasn't, it was in, it was it was like in the clouds i was in the clouds but i was looking down it was like over kind of like an ocean but in the clouds it wasn't built on the ground so it was a floating city of some sort and i remember going over that i was looking at that and the whole time i'm trying to pull out of this trip because i didn't know if i was sitting down i don't know if i had fainted i didn't know what was going on and I, then i kind of like kind of like i didn't open my eyes but i kind of like zapped over again to somewhere else when it was like i felt like um like there's like a plastic tarp over me like I was laying down on something and there's like or I was standing up and there's a curtain in front of me but it was like kind of like I don't know if it's plastic I didn't touch it I just was looking it was like kind of like a thick tarp and like kind of like so I could see but it was like like you know cloudy 
and then I, I saw those hands like a couple of them two or three of them come in like that through it around it and this black probe and I've had I've seen this black probe before and it was like pushing on my face like on my head like right here mm -hmm.